You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's a Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I am going to do. Hey, oh boy. This is what happened when I put this bin up here. This one in front does not have an on off switch. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, it is bin day, and I thought I'd pick out the bin with some pretty eclectic toys. Recent additions to the collection because I have been trying to refocus my efforts on my inventory and uh, well here let's take the lid off let's get that thing out it is loud it does not oh there's a game up here there's two games up here let's just see we'll check this one out first it's just right here it is a cat electronic toy it is very dirty it's actually quite loud toy state industrial limited made in China Oh, you loosen this to get the batteries out. I don't see any on-off switch. Sometimes if you hold a button down, let's see. This is what's getting the... I really like this toy. Why? Listen. It's got some of the best sounds. What it has to do with cat, I have no idea. Boing. Wow, if you hold it down, it just continues. Ooh, that one didn't do it. Now let me try that again. Oh, okay, so that was just a longer one. And you have right turn. And then you have left turn. And then you have a horn. Let's see if you hold this down and it turns on. So it's vibrating right now. Can you hear it? Here. Here. You can hear it up here. Okay, it's not turning off. Okay, quiet. Let's put that over there. All right, so let me move this out of the way. We'll come back and we'll check out the rest of this bin. All right, uh, let's just start with this. It's on top. It's called Surprise Slides Lightning Fast Race Game. Skip through the turns on an ever-changing game board. Okay? Mix and flip the tiles to change the path. An exciting race to the finish. So it looks like one, two, three, four tokens. I wanted to check what's in here. I see four right here. So four movers, four bases, six Racer tokens, one spinner, and instructions. Okay, let's see. I see the instructions. That is a good start. Okay, let's get this out. Let's look at the game board. Those are always... But right away, I see there's only two pieces there for that. Okay, so we have the spinner. Okay, pretty nice, interesting game board. Let's... Oh, man. That thing's going to be trouble. One, two, three, four of these. Do, 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 do. Let's see, does it repeat the information here? Yes. Choose a mover. One, Lightning McQueen, two, three, four, five. Wait, Lightning McQueen, Cruz Ramirez. Oh, that's one, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we're good. We have the movers. And then it said six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's good. So I'm missing two of the. Little bases. Now I could find those. So this game is probably worthy from other games. I might have some in my bin of miscellaneous pieces. So that's good. So I may clean this up. A lot of times when I find games like this, there's cat hair in there and miscellaneous fuzz. So I got to clean it all out. Double check all the pieces. But I would say this one may show up on a video. I can't say. I got so many games I have to show you. All right, let's get this thing out of the way. This thing is going to bother me. All right, and then the next game, I might as well just continue with the games, is Uno Stack, age of 7 plus, 2 to 10 players. Number one for stacking fun. Now, let's see. Can't read that. What year is it from? This is from 2002. So this got me thinking. Uh, I have been on a massive inventory restructuring, 
And when I find stuff like this, I used to put this in maybe a game bin, but then I'm thinking, you know what? I got so many Uno products. Why not put all the Unos together, all the Uno stuff? So that's what I've been doing. And kind of why am I uploading has been a little sketchy and why I haven't got to a lot of what I usually like to do. It's because I'm trying to work out this inventory. So based on Uno, American number one brand of family games, because we're talking maybe hundreds of bins uh, the go through and kind of reorganize. So it's taking a great deal of time. Your opponent pulled a blue three, blue three. Take any blue or any number three from the stack and place it on the top. So you're forced to pick based on what somebody else picks. Now this I just grabbed because the circus is gone. It is the greatest show on earth. Did they give you a year? It looks pretty old or little rusty screws. No other information. Made in China. It's not battery operated. Oh, it's broken. So the wheels are broken. So that basically will just go with my other circus stuff. And then let's see, other electronics. Here, here's one. Baby Einstein. Now this gets me thinking here. Uh, I just had a video flag for copyright that's been on YouTube since 2014, I believe it is. And it just got flagged now. It was the Handy Manny Toolbox with the dancing tools. And somehow the song that they're singing to in the toy got claimed. And it's a company that uh, does this a lot. So I didn't even fight it. It gets very frustrating when you got to fight these companies that do this to you. So I'll keep talking as I play. It lights up at the end. There's a spinner here. You've got two volume controls. I'll pull the batteries out of this at some point and put that with all my other little electronic toys. Ooh, this one. Look at this. Chuck E. Cheese's. That's got a gumball stuck in his mouth. Oh, old gumballs. Now, I have a bunch of other Chuck E. Cheese's stuff. 2017, so it's not really old, but it's still pretty cool. And why I grabbed it, I don't have it. So I'll add it to that little collection. I am not going to eat the gum because I found it this way. And then, all right, let me grab another electronic. Let's go through this Fisher Price. Let's see, oh, it's got batteries and it. it still is dirty. All these toys need to be cleaned really good. We got BCD, EFG, then numbers, and then shapes. Okay, and then it's got little three rings up here. This to me is basically an infant toy. That's what I would categorize that at. And then, let's see, let me do another electronic toy. This is Elmo. Okay, let's see. Is there three? Oh, there is three settings. Looks like it's a game. Red. Ooh. Orange. Ooh, I like that. Yellow. Green. Blue. One, two, three, four, five. And a song. Elmo five, okay, Elmo, you're singing. I gotta be careful. 2011. This is a game now. Now he's probably going to say, okay, what's the color? Okay. I like this one. That'll definitely stay in the collection. Anything, Elmo? All right, now I have, I don't know if you've seen these blocks. They have, all the blocks are a little bit different. I probably have 50 of these different kinds of blocks. Never put them on video. I didn't know if you'd ever want to see them, but they all have different things inside and do different things. Uh, pretty neat the way they are. Some have little railer balls that move around, other little creatures inside. Let me know if you want to see those. I'd like to get that box and show you one day. Another electronic. This is the bin of electronics. Oh, it's on too. Let's turn it off. It's a little smartphone. So it has a lenticular type screen. Can you see the difference? One's a blue puppy. It's a VTech. So you practice your dialing. Let's see if it understands 911. Okay, let's turn that one off. Okay, another electronic. This is the bin of Kids Electronics. Oh, here's one for you. You might like this one. Did you see that sneaking through the top? This is a JW, Jurassic World. And how does this guy work? Does he do anything? He's got batteries. 
I think his tail pops off for sure. Is there a button? I just remember seeing this come off. Maybe not. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. So you pull his arms down. Does he move? I don't think he does. It looks like the tail. Maybe it's a different one I'm thinking of. All right. I'll have to figure this guy out. But he looks pretty, pretty mean. So that all moves. And then uh, he does want to like that. And it opens pretty far. All right, pretty cool. Ooh, check this out. I was surprised to find this. You don't see this kind of stuff often anymore. That's a little elf doll, no year. Alien Productions, and it's in really good shape. Doesn't look like anybody trimmed his hair, although I lost a piece right there. All right, how about one more electronic and then I'll make some room here. Got batteries, yes. It's a cow. See, I'm talking about dirty. So it looks like different songs on each button. There's nothing else that... Basically another infant toy. The bell has got a light in there that's lighting up. So basically it's just flashing colors and one, two, three, four, five, six songs. What's the bull? Let's play oh. Teddy bear. oh. Let's so there's two games. Okay. Cow. Cow. Ah, I like that. What year? It's hard to see. They make it so hard. It's your learning journey. That's who made it. Made in China. I can't see the year. I think it's somewhere in here. All right, so let me move this out of the way and we'll see what else is in the bin. All right, still going here. I was happy to find one of these. I have no idea how it works. It's called Boppet Smash. I've been trying to get all my Boppets together, uh, which I'm still working on, uh, and I could not figure out how this thing plays. High score is 100. All right, something's happening with these lights. And you, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It doesn't stop. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you're supposed to stop it in here. I think that's what it is. I've never actually played this one before. Interesting. Ooh. Ooh, missed it. Missed it. Okay, interesting. I will have to find out more information on that. And then I got this here. I'm sure some of you have seen these. I think I've shown this on video before, but I had one in my collection, I believe. It is a, almost like the wind-up version of this, but you spin, and it opens up and there's a rabbit. Too bad I didn't get this in for Easter this year. Hey, quiet down. Did? Okay, it's wanting me to start. All right, and then this, I grabbed this. I don't know why. Do you like these? This is kitties inside kitties. Smash it to start. I'm not going to smash it to one I'm kitty. To so it looks like this one. Maybe it's missing because this one goes over this. Isn't there one? Shouldn't that be in something? So I don't know. That's why. Sometimes I grab things that are not complete. I re donate them. And that's that. All right, here is a Thomas item. I'm trying to get all my Thomas together. I have a lot of Thomas. I rarely show Thomas on video, mainly because there's a ton of Thomas channels. But this looks pretty neat. It's a case that looks like you connect the track to. I don't know anything about that. I have, I have sets of Thomas, which I've never shown on video. So it looks like it's 2016. And then these. These really were intriguing to me. It was a bunch of wood toys. And they're all different animals. And they're pretty neat. The way they have these like heavy cord feet and heavy cord 
necks and tails or wood, but they have these neat little, there's a whole thing of them here. That's the name. I don't know anything about it. I have to research that. Cute little pig. Aren't they adorable? At least I thought they were. A giraffe. Animals. I don't know all these animals. I know all the animals, but, oh, an elephant. I was going to call this a mountain goat, but I don't know. And then this looks like a hippo. Horsies. I got horsies. Horsies. That looks like a rhino, doesn't it? And that looks like a bear. That's pretty neat. You want to see them on video? I don't know. I'd love, maybe I should bring these all in with Butch and he can talk to each one. Well, there's a whole bag of them. Look. There's a lion in there. Other animals. Pretty neat little... Well, here. Look at them all. What a neat little collection. And everything is so nicely made and detailed. Now, they have been played with. I don't think I would actually do much on cleaning these. Look at that. Pretty neat. The udders on the bottom. Oh, this says something easier to read. Animals with a Z. Okay. So I'll Google that and learn more about them. The horse looks like he moves. His head moves. Okay, I'm going to have to move this out of the way. Oh, here. This is a... All right. The last item. Sesame Street Magic Lights Elmo plays three songs. It's really... The box is in bad shape. But I don't think it's ever been out of the box. It's from 1997. So there's this one and this one. Woof and I Love Ducky. Collect both. Ernie and Elmo. So I don't think the Try Me works. I don't even know where it's pointing to his leg or his foot. I'm not sure. All right, I tell you, I got one more item, but I think let's just see if this works. It's a Thomas train set. All right, maybe we will play with Thomas. I'll be right back. All right, so sometimes I find things like this really inexpensive. I have lots of this Comey track. I probably have 200 pieces of this track plus in a bin. And one side is ridged and one side is not. Oh, no, both sides are ridged. Okay, so I can go either direction. But it does say Tommy. See, it's dirty in spots. So I'm going to just make a circle so I can test what these trains are. How many Tommy, how many Tommy trains do I have for Thomas? Mm. Oh, I don't know. 100 plus. Never shown. Okay, there we go. Let's see. No, I can test. Can't test that. Let's see. This is a knockoff brand. This is a Tommy. Okay. Let's get an engine in here. Oh, work for a second. Ooh. Okay, the wheels need to be cleaned up on this one. Okay. This is another... Well, appears to be a knockoff brand. Maybe not. Made in Thailand. It doesn't say... Oh, it does Tomy. Maybe this is a Tomy. I don't see it. There's another engine. Okay, so this one needs work. It's in bad shape. This one's got wheel problems. So this is the only one I got to play with. Let's see if we can hook a few eyes. Yeah, it appears to be in bad shape. I have so much of this. I could set up huge layouts, but there's other channels that do it, so I kind of don't want to actually compete against them in any way. Let them do their thing. But I do like to demo toys, so maybe I will. Tell me what you want to see. And there you go. What an interesting bin, huh? Oh, come on. He needs some new traction on his back wheels. So like I said, inventory time. That's what I'm doing. Oh, this one's neat. Sodor Fireworks. And then this is just a plain car. Says Tommy. So that is that. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I have uh, three or four other bins sitting that I'm kind of working through my inventory, like I said, so I could do those videos. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you like. And thanks for watching. 
Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.